and they're in District 11. So District 11 covers Lancaster County and parts of York County. So we chose three stops, which we think represent this district pretty well. Now, these stops are similar to those which Bob visited last night. So you can see how the two candidates compare. So before we begin, we do want to make it clear that the businesses and organizations out allow us to come visit and speak with them. They have no political affiliation. They were simply kind enough to show us what they do day to day. So now let's take you on the road with Congressman Lloyd Smucker to our first destination, which touches on agriculture in District 11. Four weeks from today is the election. Isn't that crazy? So, yeah, I know. Yeah. A busy campaign season. It's a lot of um, you know getting out and connecting with uh, with people all across the district. Yeah. A familiar practice for Congressman Lloyd Smucker as he's been in the political arena for years, serving in the state Senate from 2009 to 2016 and in Congress since 2017. It's a great diverse district, has a diverse economy, um, but agriculture obviously very, very important in the district. This is also one of the top ag districts across the country. Which is exactly why our first stop is at Flinchbaugh's Orchard and Farm Market in Hellam. Do you have a guess of where we're going? Uh, I haven't been paying attention here, but uh, where are we here? Helm. Helm. Yeah. You have Flinchball Farms down here. Is that where we're going? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Meeting us is Julie Keen, a fourth-generation co-owner of the farm. Well, welcome well, your to place Flinchbaugh's. Looks beautiful yes, as always. Thank you. Yes, yeah. I think you've been here before, I have. but I thought I would just take you on a walking sure. tour of the farm yeah, if that cool. works for you. Yep. Conservation, of course, is like the biggest mindset for everything that we grow here from the yep. orchard to those commodity crops. One of our worst peach crops ever this year. I was going to say, oh, so it was why, why, why? 75% of our crop froze in late April. Where do the pumpkins come from? Well, that's another thing that we had a bad crop of this year. <laughs> we grow about nine acres of pumpkins and right. they all set. You think it's um, tougher or easier to farm today than oh, you know, I have no idea. 10, 20 years that's ago? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. I think they had different challenges. Well, my dad was, just, we were just pointing that out. You know, he was like, when the inflation was hitting him in the 80s and he was farming, he was like, it was just us. Like, I didn't right. have employees to deal with. We were so much smaller a business, so he's like, inflation hitting us as a business today is so much different. And that's the thing that's so tough about farming. You just talked about how weather affects right. it. Absolutely. So you can do everything right. right and you're still affected yeah, by that. And yeah. then a lot of the commodity yeah. prices, you can't control no, the price either. Absolutely. What's your biggest uh, issue you're faced with right now? I think there's a lot of them out there, but I, I think one of the biggest things is just not government extreme oversight. I, like I said, I'm all about fair guidance and support. I completely agree. And I think um, we're, it's far too regulatory now. Sure. We need to pull back on sure. regulation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because yeah. it hinders your ability to Absolutely. be successful as a farmer. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Thanks, thanks yeah. for having us. Yeah. Yeah. Employees are demanding more wages because of the increased costs and that put the, puts up the cost of goods and it's a, it's a spiral. So when you <clears throat> see that, what would you like to see done? Uh, well, we got to stop spending money, printing money. And then at the same time, much of the inflation is due to um, you know, oil and gas prices. So like our plan to, to um, combat that, bring our energy producers together, ask how we can quickly ramp up production here. Um, you know, how can we increase the permitting process? What can we do to make sure that we're uh, relying less on, f on f other countries to produce the oil? The spiral of inflation and demanding higher wages at top of mind for Smucker this election. Now we're off to Lancaster County to see how a town is trying to rebuild and innovate to stay afloat.